What's good, everybody? We are back with another NBA Live Mobile video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and hope you guys are enjoying the NBA Live Mobile uploads. Obviously, haven't done it in a while, but uh, it's quarantine time, so let's play some NBA Live Mobile. We got some more bonus tier select packs that we need to be opening up right here. We do get a 92 Zach Levine. That's actually not a bad option. For right now, I'm pretty much using all of my stamina to get these because I don't have the motivation to actually like play out the live events for the majority of the time. We do get an elite jersey as well, so hopefully uh, we can get some coinage out of that. And Outside of that, I don't have any desire to get shards or a gold jersey, so we're just going to go ahead and take the 10,000 coins right there. That's probably worth more than the majority of the things that we can pull out of this anyway, so... We'll go ahead, give up on another one. I believe it's like one or two more that we got to do in order to get another one of those packs. And like I said, I'm basically just doing this until I run out of stamina. We do have a couple other packs to open up as well because there's actually a way to get the signature boom or bust out of the store. Like I said, we want to get another one of those bonus tier select packs. Hopefully we can get something above a 92. I think a 92 is the best we've seen. We get a DeAndre Bembry right there. Ooh, Spolstra. Uh, we'll probably take Bembry and Spolstra right there. Obviously, we don't want the Oladipo shards because they're... Wait. Actually, no. I don't want that. I'd rather have the 10,000 coins because 89s don't sell for Jack right now. We're going to open our next one right here. I don't think we're going to be able to get another one, but... We'll, ooh! A little... Wow! Wow! wow mm, okay, that's tough. I think the Staples Center sells for more, but I'm not really sure. And just because I like the color better, we're going to take the 292s. I wish the uh, I wish the Staples Center one had been in the one before when we ended up taking the 10,000 coins or whatever it was. I know some of y'all are telling me uh, there's there's better options for my stamina, but at least right now when I also have to be like streaming and editing Call of Duty mobile videos and I don't have time during the day, I'll just go ahead and play out these suckers and then whenever it gets to nighttime and I have a little more time to just lay around and play live events, we'll play live events. But like I said, we do have a couple more packs being ready to be opened up and those 92s are actually... I think those are the ones that will actually sell on the auction house, so that's dope. We got our free pro pack from earlier today that I went ahead and collected, and looks like not much in it, but that one stamina will allow us to go ahead and do one more playthrough for the arena. We got a signature boomer bust. We get nothing out of there. I honestly thought for some reason that it was going to be more than one card, but now that I think about it, Makes sense. Uh, I probably am actually going to buy one of the signature packs out of the store because there's one in there. <sighs> For some reason, I thought 83 was high, and then I remember, no, it's actually 93 that's actually high. <laughs> but uh, we'll hop on over to the store. There was, there was like a nice pack that was in there for like 700 NBA cash, which is actually affordable for me, and I believe that it guaranteed... A couple things. Uh, we'll go ahead and open this Madness Pack real quick. And I think we can actually open a couple of the... Ma Ooh! 95! And four brackets out of there. I don't... Are we guaranteed four brackets? Maybe we are. Maybe I got a little overhyped. Yeah, we're guaranteed four brackets, but we'll go ahead and buy up these bracket packs as well, and we should be able to throw a couple of those into sets. Uh, and I think that's actually what the majority of you guys were telling me that I should be spending my stamina on. Over there, we're not going to spend any money. Not today, not today. Uh, I don't think I really care for any of that. Scrolling through just to make sure I'm not missing out on anything. Y'all don't want to watch me open or watch ads. And then the signature select pack. That's the one I wanted to open. So it looks like we get to choose from a bunch of 96s and above. And we're also guaranteed 290 and above for signature cards. So... I want to get this just because there's only one that we can get anyways. Oh, shoot. I believe our two guaranteed 90 pluses ended up being 96s because those... Ooh, we got a 98 Bogdanovich as well. Oh, my gosh. So we're only guaranteed 92 and above and I actually got two 96s. I don't even know if there are 92 overall uh, signatures, but... 700 NBA cash for all of that, in my opinion, is a pretty dang good deal. Oh, I can open. 
I'm kind of tempted. This might be a waste of NBA cash, but I don't care. I want to open another one because if there's more 96s, we might be able to get a little more coinage back out of that. I'm not going to spend all my NBA. Okay. Didn't it say 92 and above? And we just got a 91. Wait, I didn't realize this. Was <laughs> I didn't realize that was a 99 Ollie Depot, and then we got a 96 blood. So, oh, and then the waiter's card actually has a way cooler animation. But obviously, like, Ola Depot is a 99. Like, I've got to take that, right? Hopefully, I don't end up regretting this because this one does have a boost to three pointer, but it's only for your shooting guard. I'm pretty sure Ola Depot is the better choice. So, we get two 99s and. Honestly, I'm really tempted to go ahead and spend the rest. If you guys think that that's a good buy for me, feel free to let me know down in the comments. And if it is, then we'll open up that sucker tomorrow. We got a lot of stuff to work with right now, though. I'm going to go over my lineup and just hit best lineup and see. We got, wow. So now our entire starting lineup is all 97s and above. And most of our bench is looking really nice, too. And I believe we can still sell a few of those 96s. Um, decisions, decisions. So I kind of like, it doesn't really matter what we have in our Madness lineup, in our Sharpshooter lineup, Lockdown lineup, Street lineup, because uh, we don't ever really use that. So part of me wants to take all the good players out of there and just throw them onto the auction house. But at the same time, I don't really know if they'll even sell for anything. We got two Bledsoes, which hopefully we can get some coinage back for. But uh, that actually went way better than I was expecting. And uh, that was all NBA cash that I got basically for free. So that's pretty freaking lit. Um, we do have campaigns. That's what I was going and looking for. I wanted to throw in the brackets. Where are the brackets? Brackets. Are they? It's not in franchise, is it? I don't. Oh, okay, for some reason, they're over here. Uh, Campaigns, am I lost? No, Mobile Madness. Where, where, where are the sets for these? Oh, it's, it works like a store, not like an actual like purchase thing. So guaranteed 94 and above, I think, is what we want to go for. We can buy two of those. And actually, we can buy 199 to 100, or 90 to 100 as well. More than likely, I'm probably just going to go for the uh, for the two of these, though. So we're going to go ahead and open up these suckers, see what we can see. Guaranteed 94. Fingers crossed, hoping we get like a 99 or 100. That would actually be insane. We're going to look at three, two, one. Come on, something good. That was basically the minimum. Um, So you know what? You win some, you lose some. 94... I don't even know Chris Clemens. Who the who did he play for? I I don't even know who he played for. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and buy it again. Come on, something better than a ninety four. Come on, NBA Live Mobile. Show me something good. Here we go. No look. Come on, one hundred. Dang it! All right, we got another ninety four right there. That was a a little bit of a letdown. Not gonna lie, but. Now we got a lot of players to throw up on the auction house, and hopefully that ends up making us some coins. Um, I don't think that I've seen anybody in my comment section actually give input on what could be a good way for me to get my players to sell faster. So basically, I'm just going to throw up all the... Oh, I can't even sell the Kyrie. I didn't even realize that. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, and 101 right here. Hopefully the rest of these guys are auctionable. We're just going to th throw like all the 88s and above up on the auction house. And then well, I can't sell Danny Green either. Okay. I, why, why are those not auctionable? I'm sure there's some reasoning behind it and it's probably ridiculous, but you know what? It is what it is. Hopefully we can make back a little bit of coinage. And I know there's actually specific elites that I can like quick sell in the store for a bunch as well. And I'm not, I don't know why there's so many of these guys that are unauctionable, but it's really annoying the bejesus out of me. I guess I'm just going to have to end up throwing them into some of those exchange sets and hopefully we can trade them in for a better card option. Um, but that's all right. Keep throwing those suckers up, all the 88s and above anyway. We'll do the 86s as well. And then I guess there's some of these guys that will sell for like 10,000, which is more than 
most players go for in the auction house. Maybe the ones that sell for 10,000 are the ones that are already uh, sold for me. Looks like most of these guys don't really go for all that much, so I don't know what the pattern is, why there's some that sell for 500, some that sell for 1,000, some that sell for 10,000. Like, I don't know. Uh, are, do any of these sell for more than 1,000? I swear I saw, like, a buttload of them the other day when I was looking through, and I think there's some golds that sell for 1,000 as well, but I don't know. Anyways, that is going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, drop a like down below and subscribe to the squad if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time.